Hello, Divine Cancer, and welcome to your reading for the second half of February 2022. But however, anytime you come to this video is the right time for you because these videos and messages are timeless. I just ask everyone to check in with your guides, your angels, your ancestors to see if this is the right reading for you. And please like and subscribe. It helps to make this channel visible to other people who might need these messages. Okay, I call on my guides, my angels, my elevated ancestors to help me put my ego aside and help me be a divine channel to bring in these messages for cancer <laughs> um, at this time. For the Cancer Collective. Wow, these cards want to jump out. They want to jump out. I'm feeling for some Cancerians, like you're feeling kind of soggy, kind of Eeyore energy, you know, or somebody's just not reading you right, you know? Like I feel like there's some, maybe somebody in your life who's like, why are you always sad? Or you're so emo, or they read too many astro memes and then they think they know you, you know? Like I do feel like some kind of annoyance here, Cancer. I feel like you're annoyed with somebody. Somebody's annoying you. Somebody thinks that you're too emotional. You know, I don't know who that's for, but I feel like there's some people there that you're just like, I'm not. And don't let that harden you, okay? That's what I'm hearing from your guides, too. They're like, don't let other people's opinions make you, like, turn into somebody that you're not. Don't When you react to this person's stuff, then you're creating a persona based on somebody else's stuff. It's very... Yeah, it's not good for you. It's not it's not healing for you. Okay, we have victory though in this reading with this um the seven, I mean I'm sorry, the six of wands. But you know what? I feel like some of you are carrying a burden. Maybe it's like a family burden or like something it could be intergenerational trauma related where you just like are like you know you're doing really well but there's something like weighing on you like there's something like weighing on your back you know it's just like you've been waiting for some like the other shoe to drop in a way like you've been waiting for something to happen and you know that you're doing well there's victory but it's not at the scale that you want to see it's not at the level that you want to see and when people put their input into stuff and they tell you this or that about how they feel, it's just like irritating because you already feel like you should be doing this or that or whatever, you know? And you're feeling trapped by not only the voices inside, but the voices outside. And it's gonna be a really good time to like, you know, work with this in therapy, you know, your inner family, your inner child. Like it could be really healing to get those voices out on paper as well, you know? like to get an understanding of your inner critic versus your inner parent, right? Because your inner critic could be being, just being mean to you, you know? Please, um, if you're interested in doing that kind of work, you can also book a session for intuitive counseling because I definitely offer that. But anywhere that you're seeking assistance, you will get it, you know? So if you're working with a therapist, you can just bring that up there and like maybe just going in and talking about the inner critic a little bit more. Because I feel like you're not really feeling very connected to other people right now. And your guys are saying that it could be really beneficial to you to be a miracle in somebody's life. We have the, the chariot. This is your card. It's like going forward with trust. You're carrying, like, I'm like, I'm going to be like you're carrying God's message. But you kind of are. Like, some of you are like carrying strong spiritual energy. And it's like, you're a leader. You're meant to be in a leadership position and you're meant to lead. But if you keep being like, if you're not, okay, it's like your life is going a certain way, but then that internal voice and other people's input that reflects that voice kind of makes you feel like you're in a different reality than what you're in. Like you're in the emperor, the hangman, the chariot, the six of wands, the star, but you're feeling like the eight of swords. You know, like you're just like you're in a fast moving energy, you're in a strong energy, you're in a you're in a, a successful energy, you're in you've made progress, you've you've you know you've been you've become like exactly what you've been dreaming of becoming. Sorry, I'm just gonna clear the air a little bit. There's gonna clear the air a little bit. I feel like that's something too. Something Something that's weighing on you is that you might need to clear the air with somebody. You know, I feel so much. It's like a weird 
like energy. It does not match where your life is at. Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, what can Cancerians do to deal with this energy? What can Cancerians do to deal with this energy that's there? We have here we go. The three of swords, the four of swords, the two of of wands. You may need to communicate with somebody. You may need to communicate something. Somebody has broken your heart or you have a broken heart. This person could live far away from you. They could be on the internet. Like it's somebody that you just like haven't spoken to. Maybe you have not. You're just taking a break. You haven't spoken to this person. You don't know what to say. Maybe that's also why you're feeling annoyed. Like maybe you're annoyed by that person. Maybe that person annoys you in some way. They stress you out. You're feeling stressed out by this situation. Sometimes it feels like you have a lot to say though, but it's like also the thing is, is that you're the voice inside your head. And I'm not talking about like, you know, if you're having like actual hallucinations, that's a different thing. But I mean like the inner critic, that negative self-sabotaging voice that's like not letting you just really live your life and be in your power. You know, you might see it in other people around you, but it's like that voice is really inside. You have to deal with the voice inside, you know, and you have to not believe it and not trust it and not navigate based on that. I feel like some of you are really are going to let your hair down, though. So let's not get caught up in the fact that you're in that energy. OK, some of you are about to let your hair down, kick up your feet, you know, get relaxed, get a get a massage, get the messages, let your body and your mind flow together, do some prayer, some meditation. And then when you're ready, you're going to have this connection. You're going to move towards somebody or you're going to talk to somebody. You're going to say what you need to say. Spirit is on your side. You're going to have some kind of connection. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody, it could, oh my God, this could be somebody that you have a lot of passionate feelings towards. It could also be somebody that you shared addictions with or codependency, or it could be somebody that suffers with addictions or codependency. Um, and they also could have like money issues, right? Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, what is this dynamic here that I'm seeing? What's this devil card? The moon. Oh, that's too many. The moon card and the devil together. Secrets. Or not even just secrets. Not I don't really know how I feel about that word regarding this. I feel like it's not secrets. It's like something that is just not being seen. Like something that can't be seen. It's just it won't be seen. Like it just can't and it won't be seen. You know, you won't always, you won't have all the information. You won't get all the information. You just can't have all the information. There's something that you are walking away from too. Like it could be an addiction or somebody with an addiction. Some of you need to tell your story. Somebody, some of you need to speak to somebody and, and you need to go towards that person and you need to be loving towards them i feel like there's somebody that's just been blocking your path or there's somebody that's just been their energy has been weighing on you or you've been dealing with this energy and it's like you need to go towards this other person to get some kind of healing or connection it's like there's something that needs to be a like there needs to be like some kind of amends or amending of some sort A huge transformation is happening with the judgment here and the emperor. I feel like you are really stepping into your power through this like maybe dark night of the soul or just like in a really emotional time where you're focused on like your emotional healing. Oh my God, I can hear my cat literally crying like, like she's freaking being trapped somewhere in the other room. It's just so intense. She has the whole apartment to herself. She's just freaking out. It's so it makes me sad and stressed. <laughs> like, you know, like oh god, I don't know if you if you have animals, we have cats, and you have to live in cat world and cat dynamics. Okay, we have the magician, the page of cups, the fool, and the eight, the the nine of cups. So what's happening here is that with some help from the universe, 
and a power up. I feel like you're going to like step into another plane of your reality. You are going to go towards a new way of thinking and experience that's going to be more fulfilling. But I think you're going to keep it light. Honestly, I don't see you getting attached to anybody. You could be flirting with somebody. A flirtation, a light, light connection. Yeah, I mean, you just don't need to take anything too deep right now. You know, justice is working in your favor, but you just have to make sure not to go heavy. Like, don't take justice into your own hands, okay? Don't try to make someone see or make someone this because you don't actually really know what's happening. Like, that person could be suffering to the next, and you adding to that is not going to be good for you karmically. And you don't really know. You don't really know what's going on. If someone isn't good to you and it doesn't serve you, then just don't be around that person. But like harboring resentments and anger towards somebody is just not going to be healing for you. You're just going to be holding on to all that rage and you're just going to blame this person and, and you're going to be linked to them forever through that blame. You know, when it just might not even be them. It just might be something that you're drawing into your energy because of the way that you think about yourself. I mean, not to say that it wasn't them too. You know, I don't want to take away from whatever you are dealing with. You know, it's true. You might be dealing with something really intense. But you are meant to work on the way that you think about yourself. You know, self-limiting, self-sabotaging beliefs. Looking at, like, yourself as a victim. You know, we all need to go through that period of acknowledging victimhood. And like, you know, for me personally, I think about it that way. Like, I need to validate my feelings. I need to step out of the gaslighting that I've experienced. And I need to like acknowledge how I feel because people might gaslight me. People might make me feel like, you know, this or that way. And then I, I get lost in other people's ideas and feelings and thoughts and, and assessment of my situation and I don't get to have that autonomy and like feel my feelings but once I do once I get to be in it I get to understand it I get to sit with it talk about it feel it and then I get to step out of that narrative about myself I am not a victim I don't have to only be that like I'm so much more than that and I think that's important here too I am seeing that there are some like player energies maybe people just piss you off when they act like that and you might want to do that in return or you feel like people don't know how to commit to you but your guys are like stay strong and don't judge people that come into your life based on the pet people from the past and that's really hard not to do because you might see that same energy and like that's the fuck boy right and it's like it's it just might be somebody who's very passionate all you have to do is make a boundary you know be like i don't want to hook up i don't want to have sex right now and if you want to still date that person taking your time and having your strong boundaries you know and not worrying oh if i don't do this then they're not going to like me or whatever subconscious beliefs end up happening in there you know like i have to surrender my power i have to work less i have to not wear as much makeup or whatever people tell you know like i think we tell ourselves all kinds of things when we get into a relationship that like diminish who we really are to acquiesce to some idea that we had before we even met that person you know so we're not being authentic we're not allowing Allowing our authenticity to lead in the relationship yes I do think you're gonna have a conversation with somebody a meeting a connection it's something really long overdue it's something that's needed to happen there's information that's gonna be exchanged there's something that's going to come out of this that's really going to bring to light a lot of different stuff. Like, you're, it's going to be peace and ease. Like, when you follow the intuition on this and you actually do it, it's going to bring balance to a situation. It's going to bring balance to a situation with you and another person. Maybe somebody that you didn't think you were going to talk to again or want to talk to. But there's just too much history there and there's something that needs to be said and cleared away. Okay? You're following. I said God's. What did I say? It was like carrying God's word. You are channeling spirit, okay? You have to do it. All right, so calling in your angels to see what last messages want to be shared for cancer at this time. What do the angels want to say? Serenity. Serenity is your card.
you are moving into a time of greater inner peace and tranquility yeah that inner critic is gonna go right peace of mind means feeling secure and knowing that you're always provided for even if your logical mind cannot fathom how a challenge could be resolved peace of mind means that that you trust that god will create a miraculous solution this sort of faith is always warranted because faith is a key component in experiencing such miracles. By drawing this card, the angels reassure you that peace of mind is within you. You can feel serene, even in the midst of great turmoil. It's a mistake to think that you have to wait until your life is problem-free before you can be happy and peaceful. The opposite is actually true. First, you work towards serenity, and then your life challenges lessen and disappear. Serenity is your natural state of mind, and the angels are now working with you to actualize this. That's so beautiful, Cancerian. Sending you lots of love and blessings. I trust your guys. They got you. And please like, subscribe, share, get a personalized reading if you'd like one. And come back next time for your reading for March. Take care.